We think it's safe to say that many people love dogs. They make great companions, they are loyal, and they can make us laugh when we're feeling down. Some can even make pretty good guard dogs. In fact, the VIPs and super wealthy around the world have their preference when it comes to guard dog breeds. Now, before we start our tour of the richest kennels and training facility, we ask that you get full access clearance by activating the subscribe and notification buttons. Check trainers. Where do rich people go when they want a pup? Well, they likely have their own connections to high-priced breeders in the area. However, where do they go when they want a trained guard dog? Well, the Czech Republic, of course. There you'll find Canine Ambassador, a company that trains a variety of different breeds to meet customers' expectations. According to the company's founder, Canine Ambassador started out supplying well-trained guard dogs to Hollywood stars. In recent years, the company has discovered a growing demand from the Middle East as the rich find they need more protection. Bohas Mika, the company director, says that even customers who have full security systems are buying trained guard dogs because a dog can bark and chase any trespassers. Canine Ambassador can and does train a wide range of dogs, from Shepherds and Rottweilers to Dobermans and Schnauzers. They are trained to be good family companions, but always be alert for any danger. In terms of specialization, this facility can also do things like help train a guard dog to only go to the bathroom in one spot, and pretty much on command. All of this doesn't come cheap, however, and a dog from this facility can run upwards of $17,000. English Bulldog Let's face it, the Bulldog kind of has a bad reputation among those who don't know a lot about it. After all, in the media, we are always shown images of this stocky little guy in full couch potato mode. This dog, however, is much loved by owners who know the Bulldog is a great family companion and very loyal. If you know anything about this breed, then you know a Bulldog can be a bit of an expense. After all, it's pretty difficult to find a purebred puppy for under $2,000, and it's not unheard of for more common prices to have around $5,000 per puppy or more. In terms of being a good guard dog, owners are split on this, and it can vary from dog to dog. After all, the Bulldog is loyal and can be protective to its family, but it's no German Shepherd. That said, there are more than a few trainers and kennels out there who train the Bulldog for personal defense. Take a look around the internet, and you can find countless examples of trainers in padded gear being attacked by one of these dogs as part of a training regimen. Do you love watching our videos, but are you looking for a more ad-free browsing experience? Take your video viewing to the next level and sign up for the Premium Network. You'll get the first peek at the newest content from not only the richest, but Screen Rant, The Taco, The Sportster, The Things, and many more. Thousands of your favorite videos in one place is a no-brainer. Click here to be the first in line for the Premium. Hurricane and Jordan I think we can all agree that the President of the United States is a rich person, regardless of whether it's Donald Trump or somebody else. The President enjoys all the perks of holding the highest office in the land. Now, well, most of that stuff is owned by the tax-paying Americans. The President still gets around $400,000 a year in salary. In terms of protection, the U.S. President is also one of the most closely guarded individuals on the face of the planet. Often overlooked in all of this are the dogs that patrol and guard the White House grounds. A few years ago, these dogs demonstrated just how well-trained they were when it came to guarding the American leader. When Dominic Adesanya jumped the fence and ran toward the White House, two Belgian Malinois named Hurricane and Jordan gave chase. Not really an ideal family dog, these two Malinois showed why police and military forces trust them so much. Before he could make it across the lawn, Adesanya was tackled to the ground where the two dogs commenced using him as a giant chew toy. Demonstrating their discipline and training, even repeated kicks and punches from the trespasser couldn't get these two guard dogs to give up on their mission. Chow Chow Those not familiar with this breed likely have a little chuckle when they hear its name. After all, Chow Chow does sound a bit funny. Come to think of it, this dog also looks like a lion with a black or purple tongue. That's pretty strange indeed. However, we're not here for jokes, but for the serious business of learning about dogs that protect rich people. When it comes down to it, the Chow Chow is a guard dog at heart. You see, this breed is instinctively protective of its family and territory. 
As such, the wealthy and powerful in ancient China often used the Chow Chow as a guard dog to keep watch over the palace grounds. Alert and protective, getting a perfectly trained Chow Chow can be a challenge since this breed is known for being stubborn and not the easiest to train. They also aren't the cheapest dog around either. Often starting in the neighborhood of a few thousand dollars, a Chow Chow can cost you upwards of several thousand dollars or more depending on the breeder. Then if you want to fine tune its already strong guard dog instincts, we imagine that'll cost you quite a bit more. Protection Dogs UK It seems like no matter where you go, you can find a kennel or trainer who is selling guard dogs especially suited to the high rollers. Over in England, for instance, there's a company called Protection Dogs UK. Based in Bradford, this company will source out potential dogs from around the world and then import them. Once it arrives, you don't just get your dog. Instead, they take the pup and begin a course of training to make it into the ultimate guard dog. From foreign officials afraid of being kidnapped to Premier League stars looking for a dog to protect their fleet of Bentleys, these trainers service all tastes. In fact, they don't even specialize in one breed of dog. Whether a hefty cane corso or a sleek and agile Doberman, Protection Dogs UK can train their dogs to do anything from wrestle away a gun to simply mauling an intruder. Naturally, all of this training comes at a price. Customers can expect to dish out upwards of $40,000 to get a specially trained guard dog. Squeaky toys are not included. Let's take a break from our dog training to answer a quick quiz. Can you name the most popular breed of dog in the United States? If you're a dog lover, we bet this one will be a snap. We'll let you know the answer at the end of the video. Rottweiler. To make a good guard dog, you have to have the right ingredients. We think the Rottweiler falls right into this category. After all, any crooks or trespassers are sure to stay clear of your property if they even think one of those big dogs is around. Those who know this breed know that the Rottie can be a real sweetheart and a great family companion. However, they also know this dog has the protective and territorial instincts to make a fantastic guard dog, with a little training. For this reason, wealthy people who have lots of property and room for such a big dog gravitate to the Rottweiler. It's not cheap though. A Rottweiler usually starts at around $2,000 but can climb quite quickly depending on the breeder. These are a favorite of the rich, especially those who live in Russia. According to one report, after the fall of the Soviet Union, Moscow's wealthiest people grabbed up Rottweilers as quickly as they came onto the market. From billionaires to mafia bosses, the big Rottie was seen as the perfect guard dog to protect people and property against any trouble. Yumi If the White House has Hurricane in Jordan, then the Kremlin has Yumi and Akita. This dog was presented to Vladimir Putin by the Japanese as a gift back in 2012. Just last year, media recorded an event where Putin greeted Japanese journalists with Yumi by his side. Now the Akita was originally bred in Japan for hunting and protection. This breed of dog is known to be strong and alert and won't hesitate to sound the alarm and protect its pack. This was seen firsthand in December 2016 when the Russian leader entered the room with his Akita in tow. Yumi immediately scanned the room and seeing a number of strangers near her owner started barking her warning. Wary of the strange faces in the room, Yumi demonstrated her discipline and training by sticking close to Putin and following his commands, all while keeping an eye on those around. Although we think if Vladimir Putin was our boss, we'd pretty much follow any command he gave without question as well. Regardless, what was pretty clear out of all of this was that if anyone in the room had tried to attack the Russian leader, they'd have to worry about more than the president's bodyguards. Belgian Malinois Bred to have incredibly high energy levels and a significant prey drive, the Belgian Malinois is not considered to be a very good dog when it comes to the family. After all, there's a reason why police forces and military units use the Malinois. In fact, even the SEALs who stormed Osama bin Laden's compound used this breed of dog. Nonetheless, when you tell people they shouldn't have something, they naturally want it, especially the rich. As a result, trainers have sprung up who are willing to train Malinois as personal guard dogs. One company is Canine Protection International. They import Belgian Malinois, give them detailed and specialized training, and then sell them to very rich owners. We say rich because prices for these dogs start at around $35,000 and go up, way up. For that price, these Belgian Malinois can walk beside their owner off leash. They will only attack if commanded, and when you get home from your walk, they are trained to immediately go through the house and clear each room to make sure everything is all right. They can even pee and poop on command and go and check on the kids if you so desire. Now that's training. Imported Shepherds 
If you were impressed by the trained Belgian Malinois, then wait until you get a load of these German Shepherds. In South Carolina, you can find Harrison K9. This is a company that sells highly trained guard dogs to celebrities and VIPs. The main goal at Harrison K9 is to take a dog that is a natural guard dog and enhance its abilities to protect while also ensuring it remains a good family dog. Of course, that sort of training doesn't come cheap, and this facility has been known to produce guard dogs that cost a whopping $230,000. Now, before you scoff at that and head off to grab a regular German Shepherd, keep in mind that insane amount of money comes with some added benefits. First off, the dog comes able to understand multiple languages and hand signals. Perfect for that day you feel like yelling at your pooch in German. Second, you can guarantee that the dog will be so intelligent that you can ask it to find a specific family member and that dog will not stop until it does, no matter how long or far away it must search. Of course, Harrison also has cheaper $40,000 dogs for sale, but we don't think they can understand more than one language. American Pitbull Terrier over the last several years, the pit bull has definitely received a bad reputation. High-profile cases of mauling and attacks made headlines and got officials talking. The outrage even had some areas ban the sale and ownership of these dogs altogether. Despite this, many famous celebs own or have owned these dogs, including Jon Stewart, Jennifer Aniston, Kaylee Coco, and Tom Bradley. Nonetheless, when it comes to trained guard dogs, the pit bull is one canine which is in high demand. Specialized trainers charge a premium, but they provide skills that turn a pit bull into the ultimate protector. Take Dark Dynasty K9, for example. This company specializes in training pit bulls for police, celebrities, and the super wealthy around the globe. Dogs can be trained to recognize weapons and attack on command. Simple security and obedience training can cost a few thousand dollars. If you're looking for the complete package, however, expect to shell out upwards of $35,000. This training works on modifying your dog's behavior to make them incredibly obedient as well as protective. We wonder if they accept chihuahuas into the program. So, do you know which breed of dog is currently the most popular in the United States? Of course, it's the Labrador Retriever. For well over two decades, this family-friendly and active dog has topped the list of favorite breeds. Just don't expect to ever find the Labrador on any list of guard dogs because they are simply too darn friendly with everyone. All right, we hope you learned some interesting stuff about high-priced guard dogs. If you were disappointed not to see toy poodles or chihuahuas, fear not. We may just come out with a video about the smallest and cutest guard dogs ever. Until then, try checking out some of the other dog-related videos we have for you at The Richest. From the biggest to the baddest, we've got you covered. Just remember to bring treats and be sure to hit that subscribe button on the way out. We'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye for now.